If we put a 900 times microscope on the new 27-inch LG OLED monitor and try to focus despite the shakiness due to the huge magnification, you can see small circular indentations on the subpixels, confirming that the LG 27GR95QE is indeed using the most advanced MLA OLED panel from LG Display. The increased light scattering from MLA has improved viewing angles significantly, virtually eradicating the off-axis pink tint normally seen on WBE OLED panels, and perhaps helped by the smaller screen size, this means that there's less pink tinting along the sides as we cycle through full-field grey slides, contributing to excellent screen uniformity, not least thanks also to the absence of bending and dirty screen effect typical of OLED. Of course, WRGB OLED displays have always exhibited dark uniformity issues, but our LG 27GR95QE review unit was right up there among the cleanest we've seen in this regard. In HDR mode, peak brightness measured close to 650 nits at the 65 white point and 130 nits full fill. While these figures have been criticized by certain quarters as being too dim despite the use of an MLA OLED panel, they are not too far off those measured on last year's tremendously successful 42-inch LG C2, and you have to understand that this 27-inch OLED screen has to contend with not only a lower pixel aperture ratio which restricts light output, but also the prospect of being used most of the time as a gaming monitor with lots of static elements such as hurt on screen. The MLA panel itself seemed pretty resistant. After displaying a peak white window at full blast in HDR for 10 seconds, then switching to a full field grey slide on our review sample, we saw little to no image retention which was cleared away quicker than a buffet queue when the food runs out. To further mitigate the risk of permanent burn-in, LG has implemented a number of anti-screenburn measures on the 27-inch OLED monitor. There are the usual minor and major compensation cycles designed to run every 4 and 500 hours of accumulated usage time respectively. A prompt will appear on screen advising that the compensation cycle will start in standby, which should take less than 10 minutes to complete if it's a minor compensation cycle, also known as OFF-RS if you are familiar with LG Display's lingo. There's also pixel shifting which can be switched off from the user menu, but owing to the over-provision of some pixels beyond the 2560 x 1440 resolution, the entire picture will always be displayed on screen without getting cut off even with pixel shifting engaged. There seemed to be no TPC auto dimming at play, which means you can use the monitor for prolonged periods without seeing the whole screen dimming down over time, as long as the image on screen is moving. However, we did catch the 27GR95QE performing selective logo luminous dimming of certain static elements in HDR mode but not in SDR mode, as well as a strange darkening of the four corners from time to time contributing to a vignetting effect which most viewers probably won't notice without a side-by-side -side comparison against a reference display. Besides its small screen size for an OLED monitor, arguably the greatest appeal of the LG 27GR95QE is its 240Hz refresh rate. Now, many of you will think that 120Hz refresh rate is already fast enough for gaming, so let me demonstrate the benefits brought about by doubling the refresh rate to 240Hz, assuming a true 240 frames per second video source, of course. At 60fps, input lag came in at around 9ms, and 120fps, the input lag would be halved to 4.7ms, and going up to 240fps would further reduce input lag by half to 2.4ms, the fastest we've measured using the Leo Bodnar tester on any display we've tested so far. Using an NVIDIA LDAT device to measure end-to-end -end system latency, which takes into account the mouse click, CPU processing, operating system, game application, GPU rendering, and finally the display, we obtain an average end-to-end -end latency of merely 12.5 milliseconds after 100 runs, again a record low among displays we've reviewed to date. To give you some perspective, using the same methodology, 
We have previously measured more than 40 milliseconds of average end-to-end -end system latency on LG OLED televisions. Displaying a 240fps source at 240Hz also improves motion clarity. Here, I've shot a 1000 frames per second slow motion video of the LG 27G R95QE running at 240Hz, and despite the low resolution and dimmer footage caused by filming at such a high frame rate, hopefully you can appreciate just how clear and smooth the moving UFOs looked on the 240fps level compared to the 120fps one. And yes, in real life without slow-mo, the improvement was noticeable to my eyes too. By using a 1 nanosecond photo detector connected to an oscilloscope to measure how fast the pixels switched from black to white and vice versa, we recorded a pixel response time of around 0.6 milliseconds based on the industry standard of 10% to 90% rise time, which is insanely fast. Together with OLED's pixel level light control which allows for true blacks and vibrant colors, the near instantaneous pixel response time and super low input lag meant that you can enjoy top-notch picture quality and responsiveness when playing games at 240Hz without needing to put up with grayish blacks, blooming, smearing, ghosting, or other artifacts that can affect LCD-based monitors. Gradation generally appeared smoother than what we've observed on previous displays using MediaTek HDMI 2.1 chipsets, although there's a distinct stripe of posterization at specific tones, causing certain brighter elements on screen to take on a strange circumferential glow that could look quite jarring. Helped by more refined gradation just above black, chrominous overshoot artifacts in dark scenes were kept to a minimum, both on test patterns and in real-world content, for example in this sequence from House of the Dragon which has famously been graded to under one nit. Shadow detail was slightly brighter than reference in both SDR and HDR mode, which was not rectifiable through the cause calibration controls in the user menu. In SDR mode, only the sRGB picture preset targeted D65 white point and Rec709 colors out of the box, though if you own a compatible colorimeter, you can download the LG Calibration Studio software to calibrate the monitor to spec but only in SDR and not HDR mode. The calibrated result wasn't as accurate as what could be achieved through the class-leading 3D light calibration on LG's OLED televisions, with some mild, persistent brightening of shadow detail, as well as a couple of color patches slightly exceeding the humanly perceptible inaccuracy threshold of Delta Era 3 on the color checker SG chart. Nevertheless, an average delta error of 1.6 meant that SDR colors, including skin tones, would still look natural and cinematic in real-world viewing material. In HDR mode, only 5 picture presets are selectable on the LG 27G R95QE, and most of the picture settings are grayed out and not adjustable. Gamer 1 was the most accurate in terms of D65 white point, PQ UTF tracking and DCI-P3 color saturation whereas Gamer 2 resulted in an overly blue and over-brightened HDR10 presentation. Even though this allowed for a measured peak brightness of 930 nits on a 3% window, close to the 1000 nits claimed by LG. Otherwise, the 27-inch OLED monitor adapted its HDR10 tone curve to max CL metadata, but owing to the peak brightness of 650 nits, some specular highlight detail in 1000 nit let alone 4008 HDR content would become so compressed that they appeared clipped. Of course, game consoles don't output HDR10 metadata, so most displays including the LG 27G R95QE would just default to a 4008 tone curve. Because the monitor doesn't support HDIG, adjusting the PS5 or Xbox Series X HDR calibration screen according to the instructions would lead to max TML and max FFTML values that are far too high blowing out bright highlight detail in HGIG compliant games. Our recommendation would be to target max TML and max FFTML values of 650 nits to display HDR games without blown out highlights, or just to forego HDR and play in SDR instead. 444 Chroma was fully reproduced, and VRR including G-Sync worked well to eliminate frame drops and tearing artifacts, although like on every OLED display we've tested so far, some VRR flicker was unavoidable in a handful of VRR games, 
especially during more sedate scenes and on static menus. Owing to the WRGB subpixel structure, or WBGR to be exact, fine text would manifest some color fringing and never look as pin sharp as a display with regular RGB stripe layout. You can use 200% scaling to enlarge the text, or experiment with clear type subpixel rendering to mitigate the issue. But suffice to say that the LG 27GR95QE is intended to be used as a gaming monitor, rather than as a pure work or productivity monitor. While one DisplayPort 1.4 and two HDMI 2.1 connections are provided at the back of the monitor, there's no USB-C port at all, again underlining the gamer-centric focus of the monitor. In case you're wondering about the difference between the individual input compatibility settings, only the HDMI 2.1 PC mode supports VR up to 240Hz, so that's what you should use for playing 240fps games. Moving on to a more contentious subject, the matte anti-glare coating muted reflections extremely well and held onto blacks better than QD OLED monitors in the presence of ambient light. Up close, however, the microtexture coating would take on a finely grained appearance, especially on white backgrounds, and we couldn't help but wonder if a glossy screen would better complement OLED's true blacks and insanely high contrast. Let's sum up. The LG 27GR95QE delivers class-leading picture quality and gaming responsiveness in the 27-inch monitor category. Thanks to OLED's self-emissive properties including near-instantaneous pixel response time, as well as 240Hz refresh rate. However, versatility is certainly not the monitor's forte. Its WBGR subpixel layout can affect fine text clarity for work and productivity use. Light control is necessary to avoid showing up its relatively low full-screen brightness in HDR, and there's some undefeatable auto-dimming in HDR mode which may prompt some users to go SDR only. The LG 27GR95QE is a formidable eSports gaming monitor first and foremost, and it earns our recommended award. Now, some of you believe that a 360Hz or even 480Hz LED LCD monitor will perform even better, but you're wrong, because OLED's motion advantage over LED LCD goes beyond mere refresh rate figures. As I've demonstrated in this OLED vs LCD side-by-side -side comparison you can watch by clicking here.